Hello there. It's time to continue the Chapter 4 tutorial for Excel. Now, I wanted us to see one thing before we left here. Um, oopsie. The data analysis will always give you a positive number for R, the correlation coefficient. But you have to know that that's because the slope of the line is positive, which is what I was saying at the end of the last tutorial. If the slope is negative for those points, i.e. they start up high and end up down low, you have to know that that means the correlation coefficient is negative, even though they'll never tell you that over here for the multiple r value. So just keep that in mind for your problems. Now let's see what we're supposed to do for 4, 2. All right, 42 wants us to find the least squares regression line treating height as explanatory and head circumference as response. Now that should sound familiar because that's using the same data set we just had. All right, well, if I go here, I think, well, gee, I've, I've done a lot of what I need to do for that problem. Maybe what I should do is just, oops, let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm going to do. I don't really need a fresh data set for, for, data set for 42. I can copy. So let me right click on the tab, copy, and I'm going to copy it right here and create a copy. And then everything I did was going to be recreated. And I'm going to double click down here and type 42, number 21. And I'm going to go to the fresh one. Oops. Oh, it doesn't like me. Hold on. Got to go to this other one and delete it first. Doesn't like that. Yep, delete. That's okay. All right, then we go here, 4, 2, number 21. There, it didn't like two tabs of the same name. It's going to freak out. All right, there we go. Now, let's see. I don't need this highlighted and bolded anymore for this problem. So let me unhighlight that. Go to no fill. There we go. All right, now they want the least squares regression line. That would be head circumference, the y is equal to mx plus b. That's the way you learn it in algebra class. Now m is right here. This guy. Let me highlight him for you to see. There it is. So head circumference is equal to 0 0.183 times the height plus 12.493. The top number here is the y-intercept, right? mx plus b, this is the b right here, and this one down here is the m. It's a little bit backwards from the way we would think of it in algebra. Alrighty, so we've got that equation. Part a is done. b is interpret the slope and the intercept. And normally I wouldn't do this in, in this particular question, but I think it's important for those of you that had spent a while since you've had algebra. So let me just mention this. To interpret the slope, the slope would mean that for each inch in height, it's always a single value of x. So every time your x goes up by 1, the y, the head circumference, increases, oops, I better put this on the next cell, increases by 0 0.183 inches. Better give it its unit. So it's always every time the x, now that x in this case was height, right? Well, every time the x goes up by 1, so single inch, inch, the y head circumference changes by whatever your slope is, in this case 0.183. That's how to interpret slope. For the intercept, that would mean for a child of zero height, the head circumference would be about 12.493 inches. Obviously, this makes no sense, right? You can't have a child that has zero height, all right? But that's how you would do it. It's always when x is zero, x being, in this case, height of the child, but for your problem would be whatever. The y, whatever that is, would be the y-intercept value. So y is head circumference. All right, that's how to do parts A and B. You can study more of these um, in your Math 131 notes for part B. Next time we'll do part C, which is to use the regression equation to predict and then compute the residual.